what we are going to be doing in this video is we are going to be constructing a trapezium we'll draw the two parallel lines we'll locate the angles where the lines are inclined at one another we are going to be getting the locus of point equidistance from two different points and our work is cut out for us welcome to dev academy where we are devoted to building academic excellence in students in the stem subjects if you are here to subscribe go ahead and click on the subscription icon click on the notification icon like the video if you find them useful share with your loved ones share with your friends share with your younger ones and i believe we can all begin academic excellence together our example today is going to be drawn from the new exam from waheg the early private candidate exam from 2018 and so let's head over to our question we are told to use a ruler and a pair of compass to construct trapezium PQRS such that PQ is 6.8 cm, angle PQR is 120 degrees, line QR and PS are parallel to one another, the line PS is 10.6 cm and PR is 9.3 cm. Here I'm doing a sketch of what our construction is going to look at. If we get 120 degrees at point Q, and then we are told that PS and QR are parallel. That means that if you extend the line from Q, that line from PQ is actually a transversal that is running across two parallel lines. So the included angle to the right will be 60 degrees. And this 60 degree will also be the 60 degree at point P because they constitute corresponding angles. And we know from mathematics corresponding angles are equal so once we get that we can mark off the other point um we can get our ps to be 10.6 then locate pr to be 9.3 centimeter and then we can join s and r to get our full diagram then go ahead to locate the locus of points from the question as we are given and measure what we are asked to do so this will be a guide for us we already know our, what our diagram is going to look at and we can go ahead with our question now. So first, if we draw our baseline as a point of reference where we want to use PQ as our reference, so bringing in our ruler. So with this, I want to first draw my line of reference where I can locate P and Q. So if I bring in my ruler to and I locate a suitable point, well, I'll be able to take as a base for my diagram and draw a straight line. Now I can locate point P and from point P I'm going to mark off 6.8 centimeters. 6.8 centimeters I can get by taking my compass and taking its measurement to be 6.8 from the zero point of reference. So from zero I'm having 6.8. That then I can cut an arc. So between P and the arc that is being drawn, that is 6.8 centimeters, and that point of the arc is a point Q. So now I want to construct an angle 120 degrees at point P. I look at my compass and draw a semicircle. Um, that angle on a straight line that is 180 degrees where I can use the same radius and mark off because using the same radius would divide this straight angle into three. So if I divide into three like this, meaning I'm dividing 180 into three, to the right is 60 and the left will constitute 120 degrees. So I can use my ruler to join the point Q to the point that was marked with a compass and that will be 120 degrees that line is being drawn at 120 degrees at point Q so now we are told that QR and PS they are parallel so at point P to get these parallel lines what we also need to do is to measure an angle 60 degrees to the right of P and since I'm maintaining the same radius I have that arc and I will also cut it off 
to the right and that is the marker for angle 60 degrees at point P such that the line emanating from P which will constitute PS and that from Q which will constitute QR are parallel to one another. So now to get the length um, 10.6 cm, I can mark that off on the ruler and then go to point P and mark off the arc and that is 10 centimeters from point P and that will be point S and then I can also go ahead to measure 9.3 centimeter 9.3 centimeters and once I'm through with that I can take my compass back to point P and mark it off on the line from Q and that will be the point R. So with this I've gotten the four vertexes of the trapezium and I'm labeling them appropriately so I can finish up the diagram by joining the lines and putting my labels and as simple as that my trapezium is drawn I just need to fill in all the details that were appended to it so the straight line from P to R which is 9.3 cm is being drawn as shown then S and R I will join to constitute a trapezium just as shown also all right. So this is 9.3 centimeters. And this is 120 degrees. And the trapezium is done and dusted. So now what we're also asked to do is to get a locus of points that is of the same distance from P and R. Now just looking at P and R itself, the distance that is equal to both of them is the midpoint of P and R. So, if I am to try and get the midpoint of P and R, that line, every line perpendicular to the line P and R on the midpoint of P and R will constitute the locus of point equidistance from P and R. So, I go to point P, make an arc, go to point R, make the arc of the same radius and join the intersection of the two arcs passing through line PR and that will constitute the locus of points equidistance from P and R. So all I need to do is just to join those two points and that is locus L1 of points equidistance from P and R. In the same manner we can go and um, construct the locus of point equidistance from Q and R. That will be somewhere in the middle and then I can go to point let me start with point R I will draw an arc towards Q right this will be appropriate then using the same radius using the same radius I can go to point Q and also draw an arc to intersect the previously drawn arc now, the point of intersection of the two arcs, if I use a line to join them perpendicular to the line QR, this will be the locus of point equidistance from Q and R. At the line QR, it is the midpoint of that line, then running perpendicularly from QR, that is the locus of point equidistance from Q and R. So, this is locus L2. This is locus L2. So all we need to do now is just to answer our questions on measurement. We are asked to measure the line QR and putting in my ruler at point Q, I have zero. And then if you mark that off, one, two, three, 
So I have my line QR. As you can see from the ruler, line QR is equal to 3.8 centimeters. And then I can also go ahead to get the angle PSR. So taking my protractor using S as a reference, I can start with I'm told to measure angle PSR. So from P to S to R, as been shown in black ink, this is the angle we are trying to measure. And obviously from the diagram that is constituting 60 degrees, zero on the line reference of P, and then going in gradations of 10, we have angle PSR is marking off at 60 degrees. So the requested angle PSR is 60 degrees. And then finally, um, we're asked to measure the line QY, where Y is the point of intersection of the two loci Q that we drew initially. So now this is point Y, we want to measure line QY. And then we can use our ruler. Now, alternatively, instead of using the ruler, we could as well have marked it off with the compass, then take the compass to the ruler and mark off the distance that that radius is measuring. Both will give us the same answer, but here I can have line QY is equal to 5.6 centimeters. And with that, our problem on construction in WAIC Mathematics General Paper, January, February 2018 is done and dusted. Our advocacy again and again is that the more you practice with this, the better you are going to become we have learned how to locate the locus of points equidistance from two fixed points and we are able to measure all that we are asked to do. And that is all we are going to be having today. It's Deep Tooth Academy. Don't forget to subscribe and until next time, God bless you.